Sarah Backhouse for Hub Culture. I'm joined by Professor Pamela Ronald from Plant Pathology here at UC Davis. Welcome, Pamela. Thank you. Tell me about some of the fascinating work that you're doing at the uh, Plant Pathology Department. So my laboratory is trying to understand what makes plants tolerant of environmental stresses such as flooding and drought and cold and also resistant to diseases. And obviously these things are heightened now with the climate changing and there is a flooding and drought and all these things. So is this specifically geared for climate change? So agriculture always has these stresses, but the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has predicted that they, there will be increased drought in some regions of the world, but also in increased flooding in other parts of the world. And we're already seeing pest population shifting. So one of the goals of the agricultural community is to develop new plant varieties can that can withstand these types of stresses. Can you give me a physical example of some work that you're doing somewhere around the world? Sure. So I've been collaborating for 10 years with David McKill at the International Rice Research Institute and more recently with a group at University of California, Riverside. And about five years ago, my laboratory isolated a gene that can make the rice plant tolerant of complete submergence. And this is quite important. So we think of rice plants as growing in water, which they do, but if they're completely submerged for three days, the plants will die. So about 50 years ago, breeders were able to identify a very interesting uh, variety of rice that could stay underwater for 14 days. So because 25% of the world's rice is grown in flood prone regions of the world, this type of rice would have a significant impact for growers there. The problem is that the old variety doesn't yield well, it's not used anymore, and so farmers did not want to use it. So breeders using conventional approaches tried to bring in this interesting trait, um, but the new varieties were not adapted very well to the local environment. So uh, Dave McKill and I uh, set out on uh, a project to actually physically isolate the gene that confers this submergence tolerant trait. And the idea was if we could isolate that gene, we can more precisely insert it into varieties that are favored by farmers in India and Bangladesh and other regions of the world. To say, for example, this year has been a, a, a spate of natural disasters, somewhere like Pakistan that was submerged for such a long time and is still dealing with those after effects. Could this rice gene and rice strand help these people? Yes, in fact, um, we were able to isolate the gene, and Dave McKill has led a very robust uh, breeding program, and the rice has been field tested for four years and is very effective. So the new rice variety yields three to five fold more mm -hmm. under conditions of floods, and the farmers have um, been very pleased with it, and it's been now released in India, Bangladesh, and Indonesia, and the Philippines. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing insights on your work and uh, best of luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you.